Hey everybody, I'm Yakita Hall and I speak in Richmond at the Faith Hub for Creative Learning, which is the I Speak in Richmond Center. Listen, I'm excited that you decided to join me, uh, some maybe at nine o'clock, but this is actually a pre-recorded video um, because I had to make a turn in my schedule today. I'm expecting people at my home here uh, any minute. So I hopped on here to be sure that I fulfill my assignment in the kingdom. I'm excited that you joined me for a burlap talk, a day, uh, uh, just a moment, to help uh, boost your faith in life. Um, today's word is turn. Last, week word, last week's word was try. Today's word is turn, T-U-R-N. And I'm excited because God gave me this word this morning. I said, God, what do you want me to release? But this thing has blessed me because I literally had to make some turns between last night and today just to do this quick recording of Burlap Talk. I'm still making turns in life. And, <laughs> and, and I've made turns that have helped uh, help me in my destiny, help me achieve goals, help me in my marriage, help me as as a parent. So you're going to always be making turns in life and society. You're going to always be making turns. And so this word is pretty powerful. Turn. Let's go ahead and get it in. Your T is think about your future. It's important that you think about your future and everything that you do. Had I known this uh, years ago when I was younger, uh, somewhat naive to adults telling me certain things and thinking it was the truth, listen, Think about your future. Understand that your actions impact your future. I almost titled today's burlap talk now and later like the candy now and later because actually what you're doing now impacts your future. But get this, it don't just impact your future, it impacts everyone around you. But think about your future. Think about how you're going to get to where you're going to get. You not get where uh, get to where you desire to be. You're not going to get there doing stupid stuff. You're not going to get there hanging with stupid people. And yes, I said stupid because the world literally has some stupid people in this world. People who don't have a sense of caring or don't have a sense of uh, understanding their consciousness, don't have a sense or respect for leadership, policies, um, rules, boundaries. These are people who are not in their right mind. And so you have to think about your future when you're hanging out with these kind of people. And some of these people can sit in businesses. They can sit in ministries. They can sit in different places. So, but you have to use discernment and understand that your future is important. So your T is think about your future. You understand that you are not them. Understand that you are not them. Now, who is them? Them could be those who are doing the opposite of what is right. Them could be those who are doing things and applying pressure and manipulation to you to get you to do what they want to do when that's not what, you, what you're called to do or what you have an interest in doing. Those are them. <laughs> that's them. Them are those who can't respect your no in life. Them are those who um, get upset when you say no or get upset when you're unavailable or get upset when you can't do what they want you to do. Those are them. You want to make sure that you understand that you are not them. Why? Because you're called to do things differently. You're called, you're called to live differently. Your destiny does not look like your kiddos. Your destiny doesn't look like anybody else but who you are. And guess what? You doing them. You doing things for them all the time deprives you of time for doing things for you, okay? So understand that you are not them. Now, I'm not saying you can't glean from them certain people, certain good thems, or people who are in your position or posture where you would like to see yourself one day, but just understand that you are not them. So you have the power and ability on the inside to do things differently. You have the power to think for yourself. You have the power. This is one of the things God has given us. We have the power of choice. While I'm doing this impromptu uh, burlap talk, you have the power of choice, right? So just remember that. I don't care how old you are. I teach my children this now. You have a power of choice. You have the power to choose to do right. One just need. You have the power to choose to do right. So just think that you're not them. Take that pressure off of you. You don't have to be like them. You don't have to look like them. You don't have to talk like them. You don't have to dress like them. You are you, and God is okay with that. Here is your R. Respect the fact that people may not like you. 
Respect the fact that people may not like you. They may not like you, but they can't stop you. People may not like you, but they can't stop you. And you have to understand this, okay? That Respect the fact that people are not going to like you. Respect the fact that everybody's not your client. Respect the fact that everybody's not going to see your vision, how God gave you, okay? Respect that. Understand that. That way, you don't have to keep going back and forth with people. You're not going back and forth with people, okay? Because the more back and forth you do with folks, the more unfocused you become. That's a topic for a whole nother lesson. You'll become unfocused. Okay? So respect the fact. It's cool. It's good. You don't like me, but you can't stop me, right? Here is your end. Never lose. Oh, respect the fact that you're different. Respect the fact that you're different. Respect the fact that your words have power. Be careful what you put in the atmosphere. Be careful what you write. Be careful what you post. Be careful what you release in your home to your families, right? I didn't know this back then, but now I know, so I do better. Your words have power. Your words have power. So be careful. Be careful and respect the fact that your words have power. And so with your words have power, put some respect on your words. Come on. Put some respect on your words. Put some respect on your lifestyle. Put some respect on your legacy. Y'all getting this? All right. So you're in. Never lose your inner fight. Never lose your inner fight. Listen, I, I'm, I'm looking at social media. I'm looking at people trolling, literally talking about trolling. I don't have time to troll. I've never been a troller or troll. I've never been looking at snooping around people's space and energy to see what they're doing. I, life is too short. I only have one life to live. I am not a cat. So I don't have time to troll. I don't have time to keep up with what people are doing. And neither do you. You'll never get to where you're trying to go in life, keeping up with everybody else. You'll never get there. You'll never get there. But you will get there if you... Look, if you never lose your, your inner fight, if you never give up on you, if you never give up on trying, if you never get up, give up on applying, listen, I'm not saying don't be silent to injustice or things that you see. I'm not saying uh, be silent um, to um, things that you see happening in your home and your neighborhood. I'm not saying that. I'm just using these words because these are hot topics in society right now. Actually, hot topics that go on every day, if you want to be honest. But my point is, never lose your inner fight. Never lose your inner fight. You have power within you. You have a purpose within you. Somebody is waiting on you because you're somebody's answer. And guess what? I teach my children, you have power. You are intelligent. You are smart. You are wise. And so God has given us these things. All we have to do is ask him for what we don't know. Ask God for wisdom if you don't know. Ask God how to do certain things if you don't know. But listen, you're in a fight. It's powerful because that's dealing with your consciousness. I choose I choose, I chose years ago to stop fighting with people physically who were trying to bully me. Stop fighting with people who couldn't handle who I was. And I didn't realize they were spiritual attacks versus physical attacks. Some of us are trying to fight physical war, spiritual wars with our physical hands, with our, with our, um, with our actions and deeds. And the best way to fight is in prayer. The best way to fight is allow God to be God first. And then you obey his instructions and move when he tell you to move. And you speak when he tell you to speak. Because he'll give you the strategies and things that need to be in place to make a change. He will help you make a change for nations if you obey his voice. But your inner fight is important because you have to choose. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You have to choose whether you're going to do right or wrong. You have to choose whether you're going to go back and forth with people or you're going to just ignore them. Come on, make a choice. That's your inner fight. That's your inner fight. You are choosing to control your space. You are choosing to not allow people to manipulate you, push you, or make you feel some kind of way about your decisions. That's your inner fight. You're going to need that. Don't lose your inner fight in life. You're going to need that in business. You're going to need that as a college student. You're going to need that as a parent. You're going to need it as a spouse. That's your inner fight. That's your inner fight because you have power. You have purpose, okay? The, today's word is turn. I'm going to do it real quickly again for the sake of time. T, think about your future. You understand that you are not them. You're not called to be like everybody else. You're not called to create like everybody else. You are different and be okay with it. R, respect the fact that people are not going to like you, but they can't stop you.
Respect the fact that people are not going to like you. They can't stop you. Respect the fact that you're different. And respect the fact that your words have power. So put some respect on you. You got to put respect on you. Because it's not until you respect you that people are going to respect you. All right? And here's your end. Never, 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 ever, excuse me, lose your inner fight. You guys, this is Burlap Talk for today. I'm Yakita Hall. Today's word was turn. Connect with me at Yakita Hall Global or at Yakita Hall. You just do at Yakita Hall. And soon I will release my um, new website um, where I'll be coaching and teaching and providing strategies for leaders and entrepreneurs to create um, their destiny roadmaps. It will be www.eyespeakeyespeak.org. www.eyespeak.org. Connect with me so you can be the first to know and the first to subscribe. As a matter of fact, do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm on Twitter, but I'm not on Twitter. Uh, And I'm on LinkedIn as well. All right, you guys have a wonderful day.